What's up guys and gals and welcome to the stillness of the wind. I've heard it described as a goat herding depression simulator. I don't know how I feel about that. So we can move the camera around. Oh, we've got our character right here. Talma grew up on this farm. So are we like an old babushka? It looks like we're a babushka right now. A babushka con chickens. Babushka con pollos. Through a time when 16 shoes waited by the door every morning. One by one, everybody left for the city or across the sea. Now she greets the day alone. Two goats, a pocket full of seeds, and the sunlight in her boots. Can I feed the chickens? I want to feed the chickens. Let's go feed the pollos. There's nothing in the mail. Oh, that's a mailbox. For some reason, I thought that like maybe that was like a little tiny chicken house. Like, I knew deep down it probably wasn't a little tiny chicken house, but I thought it might be. If we pick up the hoe, what happens if we pick up the hoe? Bow show. Oh, we can actually, like, hoe the fields. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and farm a little bit. I think we might as well. Yeah, there you go, Babushka. Get it done. Get it done. I don't know if there's any function to what I'm doing right now, but hey, I'm doing it anyways. She's kind of an old lady to be doing, like, hard farm work, man. But some of them old rural ladies is tough, dude. Like, you gotta... Like, life expectancy goes on a long ways for them. Like, my great-grandmother lived into her hundreds. She was like 104 when she died. And like, to the day she died, she was still like... Well, actually, it's kind of an interesting story. My great-grandmother used to walk like a couple miles every single day. She was a part of church functions and everything. The doctor told her she should slow down when she was in her late 90s and she should stop doing all that stuff. And she did. And then from there, you know, her health fell apart and she died. It's kind of crazy. Like, I think the activity was what was keeping her alive. And then once she didn't have that anymore, it was just, like, over. You know what I mean? Kind of crazy. Like, sometimes I think doctors get it wrong. Like, that purpose and that movement and just keeping your body flowing. I think that's what keeps you going sometimes. And if you don't have that, your body says, okay, well, I guess it's time for us to stop. You know what I mean? It's kind of wild stuff. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now, so I'm just going to tell sad stories because the game seems like it's going to be depressing anyways. And then I'm going to dig lots and lots of holes in the ground. I feel okay about that. That's a sizable field. What does it take for us to plant things? So we've got Marquez Gourd Seeds. Okay, yeah. Plant the Marquez Gourds. I'm okay with that. What do they need in order to be alive? Do they need anything special? I don't have any seeds left. Okay. We don't have any seeds left. Maybe we take this to the well. We get water, and then we'll, like, water the crops, possibly. Let's go see if we can find... Is there, like, a well or, like, a water source around here? I would assume that it would be on the property. If this is decent property, it'll have an on-site well. So what is that? That looks like maybe a well. Add more milk to the pot to begin. Oh, never mind. It looks like maybe it's a cheese-making basin. Hmm. These five cheeses aren't going to last forever. Some hay for the goats and not a whole lot else. Okay. What else can I interact with other than just like the cheeses? I assume that I need to water the crops. That's my thought. Love the lighting effect. We got a statue or a shadow being thrown out over here that looks like it might be the well. Yeah. All right. Let's go fill the bucket and then we'll water the crops and go to bed. When my ancestors first settled here and found this well before them, they adopted as their name an ancient word for wellspring, Yuma. Okay, we'll pick up that bucket then. Whichever bucket allows us to pick up water. Oof, it's kind of dark in here right now. Got a little bit darker faster than I expected. I don't know if I need to feed the goats or how I feed said goats. But I assume that goat safety is going to be a large portion of our survival in the future. I don't know if I need to milk them or what I need to do. They didn't really give me a whole lot of indication. I'll close the gate so that all the animals are safe so that nothing can get in. 
And then maybe we'll water these crops over here. Hopefully we get multiple waters out of each of these. We only get one water out of each bucket. This is going to be a long, arduous process. Yeah, I hear the sound of something that doesn't sound friendly. Alright, we'll leave the bucket right there for right now. We don't have any more seeds, but we put a couple gourds in, so hopefully that's good enough. Inside of our house, we have our big old babushka chair. We got our sleepy spot. We've got a manual over here by Solita Labeth. To meet someone from Fremo is to learn that an open window is always better than a closed one. Everywhere there are ears. They listen for a word that's forbidden from utterance, despite the city's reputation as the half-city of twins. For to invoke this word is to tear down the delicate cocoon constricting the grief of its citizens. Long ago, to war against a fatal sickness that afflicted only twins, the vagrant magi planted a branch of their ancestral tree in the city to peddle a cure called the Father's Gamble. A tincture brewed as one, then split and served in halves. The hand that passes the cups must live with the reality of only one surviving. Thus, what greater mercy could there be than a league of men who do not remember that they are fathers? Okay. Do you have anything else inside of here that we can do? I think we're getting tired. We got a letter over here, too. Nanatalma, I finally made it. I'm in my cap and gown, sitting here in an empty theater an hour too early, trying to hold myself together. But every minute that the ceremony comes closer, my chest is swelling with a hundred new butterflies. Everything finally feels real. Tonight I'm going to graduate from the academy, and soon I'll say goodbye to this planet, and I'll ship off to the colonies on Luna. You've always been there for me, Nana. Reading to me every night when I was little. Even now a volume of Worm Gal and Lyca stays by my bed. Taking me to winter, stargazing fairs, and gypsy carnivals in the summer, you raised me to know the horizon tides, or the horizon hides, the wonders of the world. So I've always rushed forward, and people say I take after you like that. You're the best, Nana. I'm still amazed at how you keep the farm running so well on your own. I've got so much to learn. I'll come see you again soon, I promise. With a million hugs, Rama. Uh, maybe we'll catch some. Do we need to eat? I don't see, like, a meter around anywhere, so we've got cheese. And not much else. Yeah, just cook up the cheese, I guess. We'll stew up a dinner of cheeses. Well, there you go. File it on in, Babushka. It's gonna be okay. All right, we'll sleep till morning now. We fed ourselves. Tomorrow we'll try to look at the livestock and see what we can do with, like, the goats and the chickens. We got our crop set up for today, so I'm hoping tomorrow our tending will go pretty well. So empty. This farmstead's, like, really, really alone out in the middle of nowhere. Then again, I get you, I see you get a real good view of the stars. That's something that I've never truly seen until I was in college doing my geology surveys, looking up at the sky and just seeing stars. And even so, it was hard to do then because even when we were doing surveys, you'd be like three, four hours from the nearest city, but the light pollution from like Las Vegas or like other places would still bleach out the stars. Like you could see like a shine on the horizon, basically. All right, so we're up. Let's go take a look at these goats and figure out what interactions we have with them. I assume the chickens will do their own thing. I don't honestly know. Like, chickens don't really need to be fed too much. They should just walk around and, like, eat bugs and grains. And, like, chickens will legitimately eat just about anything. So, I don't know. Let's take the basket and maybe we can get some eggs. What do we have? Hey, six eggs. Nice. Where do I put the eggs at? Do I put them, like, on the shelf in here, maybe? I don't know where I put the eggs. Eggs, where do you go? We got a gun, too, so I, so I assume something gnarly is going to happen that's going to necessitate a firearm at some point. Uh, it looks like we left the basket outside. Or maybe that dropped it all off inside of our house. I don't know. The basket's empty now, though, so I'm hoping that took it into our house. I guess the one way we could verify... Oh, 
Well, maybe I'll add some cheese to the pot. We'll figure out what's going on later. I, it's like we're on a limited time scale right now, and I don't want to starve. So I got to, like, milk the goats or whatever. I wonder where the goat milking pail is. One summer, with a few hairs on his chin, Garza rebuilt this goat house. The next in a long line of Yumas reaching through time. Hello, goat. How are you? My sister works with goats. She's a goat researcher. Well, a farm animal researcher anyways. Although she's not doing that anymore. My sister and I both ended up in, like, ecological sciences. My sister now, she was working for goat farms, uh, working on vaccinations and whatnot, and, like, basically being, like, a veterinarian light to large animals. I think my goat bucket is over by... Pretty sure my goat bucket is over by the well. I'm thinking that's what that other bucket was for. I think it's our milking pail. All right, let's go pick it up real fast. Hurry along, Babushka. It is time for us to milk. We shall grip the uttery teats of the goaties. Oh, the goats are out. I don't know if that's good or bad. The goats will probably get into the... I think there's a pretty good chance that the goats are going to get into our farm. It's a realistic chance, all right? It's a realistic chance. Let me get this milking pail real quick. All right, we're going to try to make cheese today. We're going to try. I don't know if it's going to work, but if it does, that'd be pretty fantastic. We also have, like, mushrooms and things around that it looks like we can gather. I'm going to open that up real fast. I didn't really want my chickens to be let out. But let's milk the goat. There you go. There you go. There you go. Milk that goat. Milk that goat. Do it. Do it, Grandma. Do it. And so milking continues. Hopefully the chickens come back. Oh, look, there's like a traitor or something. One second, one second. I gotta put my, I gotta put my goat milk in here. Perfect. So that's enough for two cheeses. Uh, it looks like we can turn, we can churn maybe. Oh, we gotta churn it that way. Gotcha. Okay, so I gotta spin the mouse. Light that. And maybe it'll spit out cheese someday. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Did the trader already take off? It wasn't that I like wasn't interested in him. It's just that I had other stuff going on. Like I can't just be carrying a thing of milk around with me all day, you know? Like I gotta <laughs> do some activities. Here, go back. Yeah, go back to the go go back to the pen, man. I'm gonna need you to put you in the pen. I mean, it looks like the chickens do fall back. Oh, he's gonna come back to eat because he needs hay. That's what it is. He's going back to the hay brick right now. Come on, leave this little sucker back in here. Come on, you little bastard. Get up in here, goddamn goats. I was trying to escape from my enclosure. Oh, it looks like our cheese is done. That's probably a good thing. Where did my cheeses go? Or was I supposed to do something? This is not very, this is not explained well to the splatty. Yeah, make a cheese. Oh, cool, we've got like a little cheese mold. Oh, you've got to knead it. I've never made cheese before, so I have no idea what goes into making cheeses. Especially cheeses made from a goat. So I honestly have no idea. But hey, it gave us another dinner. I mean, we're only eating like once a day right now. Not exactly the healthiest diet. Probably drop the milking pail over there. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Do, 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 do. No more eggs to collect. Okay, so I already collected the eggs. I'm trying to keep things like where they go. 
in the larger scheme of things. I don't know what to do with the gun, but I assume like wolves or something are going to come and they're going to try to mess with us. It's my assumption, but it's dark, you know, and it's kind of like dangerous out in the wilds, especially for an old lady. Then again, any old lady has survived this long in the... Oh, I'd already brought my eggs in. Okay, yeah, make egg and cheese. Maybe we'll make like an omelet. That sounds good. That sounds hella good. I love omelets, like a Denver omelet or like a Colorado omelet. Like, oof! Love it. Santa Fe omelet? Love it. Doesn't matter the type of omelet. I like all omelets. Omelet du fromage. They're delicious, and that's what we just made. An omelet du fromage. Is that a new letter? No. That's the same letter that we already had. Okay. Alright. Well... Doesn't look to me as though there's that much to work on. So let's just get some sleep. I mean, being well rested when we're doing this much farm labor is probably a good idea. I personally have never done farm labor, but I would assume that it would probably be pretty exhausting if you're not using a lot of machinery. Okay, off we go. Time for another day on Dust Farm. Uh, so we emerge from our home, and I need to water the crops, and I'm going to try and get everything done today that I possibly can. I don't want to get too wild and crazy with what we're trying to do out here, but... How are those looking? Still growing. Okay, that's fine. Ah, we got to go back to the well. Alright, let's go to the well. Definitely a slower-paced game, but it does... It's definitely in that distinctive style. Of the flame and the flood, where it's de it's one of those games that like it's a little bit slower, it's a little bit more contemplative, it's a little bit more, well, I don't know, sentimental. I guess would be the word for it. But I like that. Like I like the fact that developers create a game that's about feels and whatnot. Like they go in and they make something that's kind of got you like thinking. Like after I get done with this episode, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go call my mom. That's all I'm saying. But not like in the creepy black mirror way, like in a like just checking in type of way. You know what I mean? Got me feeling kind of guilty right now. Open that on up. I want to keep the... I prefer to keep the goats in. Chicken, you coming in? Look, I will sweep you in if you won't come in on your own. I got, like, watering. I've got planting. I've got all kinds of things that I need to get done. There we go. So the watering has been taken care of. Drop the bucket right there for later. What is that? <laughs> what is that? What does it do? Like a drawing stick or something? I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I'll be honest with you. I have no idea what that's being used for. Maybe it's for irrigation, like drawing little irrigation channels in between there. I don't, like, fully know. I'm not sure. Either way, though, our goat is positively bursting with milk right now. So we're going to fill up the bucket real quick. Kind of quick is sort of an operating phrase here. It's not actually going to be kind of quick. We're sort of going to do this slowly. What is that right there? Is that like a little bird? I'll go check out that warbler in just a second. It looks like we can like talk to birds or something. Maybe grandma was a Disney princess in her past. All grandmas were princesses at some point, all right? That's just the rule of grandmas. They were all royalty at some point. They might still be royalty. I don't know. Some grandmas better at holding onto their crowns than others. You know, some abuelita is a little bit meaner than others. Some of them fight a little bit harder to hold on to that privilege. Some of them don't. Alright, so we'll dump this inside of here. Yup, milky time, milky time. Gonna stir this thing right now. Spin my hands inside this pot. We'll spin it round, see what we've got. And then we'll kick it to the fire. Oh my god, it's a fire. Alright, light this thing on up. Thank god I don't need matches or anything like that. Grandma appears to be a firebender. So she just burns it out real quick. Okay, so that bucket is done with for the day. I am interested in what the gun does and what the stick does. Oh, there's a letter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a letter. I think the goat's going to try to make a run for it if I go out the gate over here, though. 
All right, let's go see what we got in the mail. I guarantee we got something. It's probably going to be depressing. It's always depressing in this game. So we have a letter. Garza Yuma, editor-in-chief of the Evening Owl, Salazar Building, 67th floor, West Wind District, Elgo City. Uh, what's up with this old guy? What's up with you? Hey, I'm coming. Hey. Hello again, my dear. I see new mushrooms have sprung up all around the desert out there. They're so cute, like tiny little helmets huddled together in platoons. If you ever pluck up a basketful, I'll give you a great price for them. A fun price for fun guy. Alright, what else you got? Like, I've got, like, eggs and stuff. Do you want anything? We got gourd seeds, tomato seeds, the tree of knowledge. I'm probably going to need some hay before too long. Yeah, here, take some of my eggs, because I got cheese coming out of my ears right now. Hold up, I gotta, I gotta, no, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Don't leave, I gotta close the gate, the goats were trying to escape, ah! Sigh. Sigh, sigh, shickety sigh. Damn it. All right, I guess I'll just gather some eggs then. Let's egg it on up real quick. I was gonna buy some more hay because my goats are going through it with a quickness. Got like some eggies down here. I saw a mushroom out here. I'm gonna go get this mushroom. I'm gonna get this mushroom with a quickness. Please believe this mushroom don't know what's coming right now. I'm about to rain everlasting gathering fire down on this mushroom. This mushroom don't know me like that. The journeyman's foil. Okay. My cat just attacked my mini fridge. It's nature, everybody. It's nature. It's the circle of life. He legitimately just attacked the mini fridge and tried to pounce on it and tackle it like he would a gazelle. A mini fridge. I think I need to get my cat new toys. I don't think he's doing well right now on the toy front. He's over here playing with a mini fridge because he ain't got nothing else better to do. I'm going to try this letter one more time too. They're like throwing a lot of stuff at me at once. For such a slow paced game, it's kind of hard to keep track of everything that needs to get done. I see a letter sticking out of the side of it. Yeah, let's read this thing. So it's from Aimi Yuma Merigo, Queen's Crown Suites, apartment 206 in high town of Elgos City. So these are all my family members, right? Garza Yuma? Yeah, these are all Yumas. And so she's apparently married and she hyphenated up. I assume Aimi is a girl name. I don't know. It sounds like a girl name to me. But I don't know specifically. Uh, goats, you're not going out right now. This is not like a wandering, rambling goat time. You guys need to stay inside your enclosure. I know you're, like, starving and you need hay, but I don't have that right now. All right, let me make some cheese. Yup, cheese it on up, cheese, cheese it on up. Gonna cheese it on up, cheese it, cheese it on now. Yup, go for it. There's one cheese, two cheese, red cheese, blue cheese. There we go. Cheeses are all done. Way I create cheese out here, you can call me Cheeses of Nazareth. All right, let's go back inside and we'll check out these letters. I think we can probably read them like indoors or something. Like, I don't know if there's like a correspondence thing. Dear Talma, my grandson is born. Ten fingers, ten toes, he's entered the world early this morning, two weeks before he was due. It seems the little summer prince preferred the spring. Elias, they named him. In a scene that could have been painted from myth, the boy nestled in the arms of his triumphant mother as his father and the rest of the family gathered round, a glow with the light of dawn streaming in through the window. Even now, sitting in my office, I can only think of that magnificent sight. I had to come to work directly from the hospital as my newsroom is pretty lost without me. But I hope you're well, Talma. Since the bridge's collapse, our Laszlo and the Black Cliff Trail have been the only way that our letters can reach you. The mayor, meanwhile, abandons the telephone poles to sink into the sand. It's not acceptable. Hopefully we can visit the farm again soon. I know of one little boy who would love to meet his great aunt. Oh, they gave me a gift, too. Yay for family! Okay. Open this one up. Sister, I've just had a lovely little adventure. On a white-hot afternoon, I visited Midtown's newest market, where among dozens of stalls, I discovered jars of sweet sap from an albino heirloom tree in the Ashlands, which they say rises only once a century in strips of or in strips of pickled chewing leather for when my pet platypuses behave well. Best of all, the grand treasure. It was the gold-flaked white cherry toffee that I chanced upon, just like the one we had on our girls' trip to the city. To think how many boys followed us around then. 
If only you'd been here, Ama. No, I won't try to convince you again to move. Granny did say abandon this farmland and it'll all blow away. That woman spotted omens everywhere that she looked, but I only mean to say that today it brought back memories and I miss my sister. Stay well, Ama. Love Mimi. With the ladies of the Windows Bridge Club raving about a charismatic young author, I've enclosed a copy of her newest novel to you, perfect for an afternoon read on Papa's chair and another to Rama on Luna. After all, there's not a whole lot to do on farms. Okay, so we got books now. Let's see here. Castellin is a beautiful city. It was the first city in Giffrey to light its streets by candlelight in the evenings. Before the use of lamplight, great night candles lined the streets, and due to the windless nights, there was little risk of the flames going out. In fact, it was common for children to climb nearby windows to try to blow them out, much to their folly. Because of the size of the candles, Castellin's main streets were landmarked by great towers of wax. When they were big enough and firm enough, new wicks were simply driven into the new towers and lit again. The city was kept so clean and stood so high on the Shine Plateau that wax very rarely muddied, and since it rarely rained, the streets flowed with wax, giving Castellin the nickname the City of Pale Wax. Okay. I like how they have, like, a world that they're trying to describe to you. Yeah, go ahead and make another omelet. I'm down for some omelets. I don't think, like, one egg is going to do it for an omelet, but I'm trying real hard right now. Get that thing in you. There we go. That's the stuff. My name is Splattercat. This game is called The Stillness of the Wind. Hope you guys enjoyed it so far. You can check it out down below. It's definitely a slow one and kind of like a emergent storyline farming game, I guess. Somebody, I read an article about this game where they called it the Stardew Valley of Crippling Depression. But anyways, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.